Would you like some applesauce, Ruth? Or you want to give applesauce to the baby? Speech Here's is a remarkable baby. device for teaching infants to talk since we carry its only tool, the human voice, yeah. everywhere. And because our hands are free to perform other tasks, it can be used almost anywhere to increase the infant's exposure to language stimulation. Okay, now can you push the button and make the whale, the, the whale spout out Part 3 shows a variety of activities and settings in which to foster language development. Notice the ease and informality with which infants are involved in all the different activities. That's right. Push hard. Good girl. And open this can and close the can. Perhaps the most basic activity is playing with toys. Playing with toys with rows on a child-sized table helps to focus the play. <laughs> you want to close that can? Ah. You open that can? No. No, she says. Leah has a drum. <gasps> you bang the drum? Playing on the floor with Leah lends informality and freedom of movement to the activities, giving them a special appeal. Bang the drum. Bang the drum. I'll bang Leah's drum. You bang it with your hand. I'll bang mine with my hand. I have two hands. The drum. Could I have some applesauce too? Uh -uh. No? Oh. Would you like some applesauce, Ruth? Playing in a corner and here using a toy table and oh, chairs with Ruth gives a little focus in playing on the floor. Want to give it to her or to her? Oh, you want to give both of them some applesauce? Oh, oh, she fell off the table. Maybe she can sit in the arms of the other baby. Hmm? Now you can give them some applesauce. Holding the baby. She's standing in the pot. Standing in the pot. You're strong. You're strong. And Acacia, sit. The floor is, of course, an obvious setting for extending language to gross motor play. Using language in different physical activities widens vocabulary, as well as increases the frequency with which an infant is exposed to language. Acacia at six months is clearly delighted with gross motor play. And Acacia crawls. Acacia crawls. That's right. Good girl. Acacia crawls. And Acacia lies down. I can tickle Acacia when she lies down. I can tickle. Oh, and she kicks. Acacia kicks. That's right. Kick, 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 kick. Kick, 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 kick. Yes, I see you kicking. And up, up, up. Acacia stands. Very nice, Acacia. That's a rocking horse. Yes. Yes, see how he rocks? The horse rocks. Sarah makes him rock. Rock. <gasps> Look at Sarah. <laughs> rocking. The rocking, rocking horse Sarah that. is riding also belongs to the floor. Rock Sarah. <laughs> Sarah rocks on the horse. Yes. Sarah rocks on the horse.
You're almost there. So does Julie's play with this large truck. The floor is ideal for playing with balls to further extend Julie's language learning. Looking at pictures is another major type of activity for stimulating language. With young infants, like five months old Christopher, it is helpful to begin with homemade books of photographs of toys. Comparing the pictures with toys helps the infant to learn that pictures represent real things. What are you going to do? There's the ball. It rolls. It rolls. There it is. You hold the block? The block doesn't interest you, does it, huh? Yes, there's the block. Be sure you let the infant explore both the toys and the pictures and label yeah, them both the to help them the see boy. the similarities. Now yeah, we have find the picture of the block. Yes, there's the block. That's a boy. You have the block there, and there's the block. Can you see the block? Huh? See the block? That's a boy. There it is. That's Christopher the focuses on both, even trying to grasp the block in the picture. It may take several sessions, however, before the infant fully understands what pictures are. Almost any small object can be photographed to further an infant's understanding, including this realistic doll Joey is playing with. Yeah, that's the picture of the woman. That's a boy. Oh, put her head in your mouth. Just the right size, isn't it? Let's open the pages. With repeated experience, infants become as skilled as Leah Ooh, in following comparisons eyes. between the details of pictures and real objects but in commercial picture books. Eyes. Leah's eyes. Where's Mama's eyes? Where's Mama's eyes? Choose books with only one or two pictures per page for the nose. early stages of word learning. This is the little boy's nose. Here's my nose. Here's Leah's nose. You standing up? The baby stands. And Acacia stands. Oh, yes. yes. Gross motor activity, which appeals to Acacia, is among the many topics now available to widen children's interests. Let's see. Acacia sits. Acacia sits. Where's the baby? Oh. And the baby sits. That's right. Acacia sits. And the baby sits. See the baby, Drew? Baby. Hi, baby. Can you wave to the baby? Homemade picture books with magazine pictures, like this one Julie's mother is looking at with her daughter, can greatly extend children's interest and vocabulary. Notice that the book usually has only one or two pictures on each page. Remember, try to ask questions like, where is the dog, rather than the more difficult, what is this type of question. Kiss the dog. 
That, what is this they have up? A hat. A hat? Yeah. What's that two hat on? Rain hats. Mm -hmm. And rain. What does the person have on? This is a special kind of rain hat. When you begin so reading stories, stories to children, as we are doing Both with 24 months old Margaret, it is best not to stick slavishly to the text until the child is far along in development. Umbrellas, yes. Uh -huh. Dad's umbrella? Exactly. Yeah. Dad's umbrella. Yeah. That's right, two umbrellas. Uh -huh. yeah. And look, they're, they're hunting Easter eggs, and there's a bunny. A diaper on me. A diaper. Yes. You have a diaper on you. Well, that's convenient, isn't it? Yes. Nice and fresh. Yes, nice and fresh and sweet and clean. Weave reading lines of text with comments and questions about the pictures to enliven the activity and enrich the child's understanding. Hanging the clothes on the clothesline, is that right? Yeah. As the child progresses, you can gradually choose books with more and more text on each page. The doggy, does your dog Bailey help that way? He eats his bone. He eats his bone, eats his that's bone. right. That is helpful. He, he knows what to do, that's right. Reading favorite books many times will often lead children like Margaret to begin telling the story herself. He gets many cards. This sometimes leads children to become storytellers, making up their own stories. They have pancakes. On the highway, they have pancakes. But repeating stories may also lead children to begin recognizing letters and words, and an interest in learning to read. Oh. On his head, uh, he had a head. Very a careful driver. Oh, isn't that good? A very careful driver. Got it. On his head, it was. He had a bottle on his head. Had a bottle. Oh, yes. Go. Oral activities, oh, like singing songs and reciting oh, verses, because. are still another major type of activity. It's like Old MacDonald. Old MacDonald had a bomb. E-I-E-I-O. Laurie is singing Old MacDonald to Christine, which fits nicely with her play with farm animals. E-I-E-I-O. What does the cow say? Mm. Moo. With the moo moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a e -I -E -I Music has an intrinsic appeal for children, but also contributes to their awareness of the rhythms of language, as well as to their appreciation of music itself. Pig. E -I -E -I -O. Where's the ball? Bounce, bounce, bounce the ball, bounce the ball for Barrick. Stress, clarity, and dramatization with a simple tune, Dorothy is singing to five months old Barrick, are especially appealing for the early months. Balls are rolled, Barrick. Barrick has the ball, and Dorothy has the ball. Hi ho, the dairy, oh, Barrick has a ball. Dorothy has a ball, and Barrick has a ball. Hi ho, the dairy o! Barrick has a ball. Sing a song of sixpence, pocket full of rye. Four and Short and verses four. can also be started in the early months, as Barrick's mother is showing. The birds began to sing. Wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? 
The king was in his counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes. There came a little blackbird and snapped up her nose. <laughs> As infants develop, well-stimulated infants like Maria are likely to follow more of the meaning and join in the activity. The gentleness of Veronica's mother enhances the soothing quality of a lullaby, broadening her four-months-old daughter's musical and language experience. Oral learning activities include conversations, an important activity for developing narrative theme skills. Talking in a small group and asking her leading questions encourages Margaret to expand her narrations. Where did we go? Where did we go? Hmm? Where did we go? What else did we do at Kennywood? Play with toys? Yeah. Toys, oh. What kind of toys do they have? Yeah. Lots of toys? Hmm. Uh -huh. I played with them. You played with them? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Pull your pajamas off. Child care routines, a fourth type of activity, make up an enormous portion of any infant's day. The frequency and regularity of these routine experiences make them ideal for exposing the child to language stimulation. Can you stand up, hold on to the tub, and I'll pull off your plastic pants. Simply labeling the same basic set of objects and actions day after day will advance the infant's understanding of the idea and functions of language as well as help to establish Boat. a core vocabulary early in development. Boat. Here's the wash rag. As Joey's mother wash demonstrates, those, bath time offers many things to label, Joey's taking Joey's off and putting on different items of clothing, washing activities, and toys to play with in the tub. See the boat? Boat. Boats are in the water and Joey's in the water, yeah. Care routines also furnish excellent circumstances for giving lots of attention and gradually teaching infants responsibility and skill in caring for themselves. Let's get some soap. Feel the soap? Slippery. Soap. Let's get the soap. Oh, and I suds your tummy and I soap up your arms. Can you splash the water? Can you splash the water? Splash, splash, splash. Where's Joey's towel? Here's Joey's towel. <gasps> Joey's towel. Oh, boy. I'm going to wrap you up. It's cold. <gasps> Joey's cold. Okay. Let me wrap you up. Is that your bath? Joey, I'm going to put the spoon in your mouth and you eat the apricots. Meal times are similarly valuable for combining learning and care. And take the spoon and put the spoon in Joey's mouth. Joey's mother feeds her son the apricots while encouraging him to eat the cheese himself, labeling both her and his activities as the meal progresses. Joey puts the cheese in his mouth and pulls it out. Notice how well he already holds his cup and drinks milk on his own. Looking at the cheese, Joey's holding the cup and tipping it back. Joey's drinking milk. 
Joe is drinking his milk. Let me wipe your face. Oh, gently. Oh, let me wipe your hands. Wipe your hand and your other hand. And then I wipe the table. And I take off your bib. And I pick you up and dust you off. And Joe is all done with his lunch. Are you done with your lunch? Okay, can you pour some water in your arms? Mm -hmm. Woo! Do it if you can. Here we go. For 11 months old Julie, baths are an elaborate fun time. Her mother is very effective in turning what can be boring routines into repeated opportunities for lots of play, learning, and warm and pleasant relations. <laughs> Pour the water in. Look at mom. Okay, wipe your eyes. You wipe your eyes. She interacts constantly with Julie, labeling frequently but flexibly, involving and praising her, yet keeping things going, getting through even the hair washing with little fuss. One, two, that's right, keep your head back. Three, good. Let's wipe your eyes again. Here, wipe your eyes Julie. Girl, wipe your eyes. <laughs> there you go. Good girl. You got a splash? Okay, pour it in. Notice the little safety seat that keeps Julie secure. Dressing Julie is similarly pleasant, involving plenty of both learning and affection. You want to brush your hair? Okay. There you go. Good job. That's your hairbrush. That's your hairbrush. I'm going to dry your little body and put your clothes on. Hmm? Let's dry you off. Oh, can I brush Mama's hair? Thank you. Hey. <laughs> Thank you for brushing Mama's hair. That's very nice. Here, it's your little hairbrush. Through the sleeve. There we go. That one goes over your hair. Hairbrush. Do you have the hairbrush? Thank you. Now tell me this. Now where are your feet? Where are your feet? Oh, you want to play with the toy? We'll play with the toy in a minute. In a minute. In a minute. Hmm? Let's get your hand through the sleeve first. Where's your hand? There it is. Pick up your hand. There's your hand. Excursions, or taking infants on little labeling trips around the home or daycare center indoors and around the yard or community outdoors, is a fifth form of activity for encouraging language learning in the early years. The endless variety of things that can be explored in this way will do much to expand the child's vocabulary and knowledge. Of course. Are you looking at the floor? Is that your clown? You want to hold your clown? Touching the clown? Is that where you wind up the clown? Yeah, that's where you wind him up. And he plays music. 
Yeah. That's your musical clown. Where's the plant? You know where the plant is? Are you still looking at your musical horse? Is the plant? Is that a plant? In these indoor scenes, plant. Joey's mother carries plant. him on a short trip around his bedroom. Joey pulls the plant. Is this the lamp? Then she takes him on a labeling tour of the living room, helping him explore the different things she talks about. So we pulls the lamp, and I put the lamp back down, and off, on, off, on, off. The lamp is off, and this turns on the, the big lights, but you can't see those. It's too bright. You touching the picture? See that? See the sailboat in the picture? That's where you spend your summers in Rockford. And look at this sailboat. See that? Is that a sailboat? You want to touch the sailboat? This is the door handle. Door handle. See the door handle? And this is the door lock. Can you turn the door lock? Handle. Joey touches the handle. Joey touches the handle. Is that the handle? That's the lock. And the click, click of the lock. Click, click of the lock. Can you close the drawer? Clo open the drawer, close the drawer. Open the drawer, close the drawer. Open the drawer. Compass. Close the drawer. Hey, Mike. Want to feel the grass? Labeling grass. trips outdoors present a whole world of nature and the many human activities to learn about. Feel the grass. Is a stick? Is a stick? Can you feel the stick? Here's the stick. Here's the stick. Apple. Like the apple. You see the apple? Oh, the leaf. The leaf. The leaf. Yeah. See the apple on the tree? Yes, you can pull the apple. Pull. Pull. There you got the apple. Nine months old Michael is taken around the yard to learn about grass and sticks, apple trees and tomato plants. Go down and we can see the grass, huh? We can see the grass. And there's an apple on the ground. Hmm? Yeah, that's a boy. Yeah. Gonna bounce on the ground? Yeah. yeah it's a, gonna jump up and down, huh? Here we go. Jump, 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 jump. Huh? See? There's tomatoes over here. There's tomatoes over here. You see, Michael? Look, there's a tomato plant. And there are some tomatoes. Do you see the tomatoes? There's a tomato. Yeah. You want to pull a tomato? There, that boy. Pull, pull. Ah, it's a boy. You got a tomato. You have a tomato. A little tomato. Let's run to the tree. Ready? As you can see One, from part two, three. three Language activity can occur almost anywhere you can engage children's attention, responding to what captures their interest, pointing out and talking about things in specific ways as you interact, following the principles illustrated in part two. How complicated your interactions are and what you say will of course vary with the child's progress, as the different stages of development in part one make clear. The general principles are equally useful for playing with infants in the home and in daycare. The needs and styles of infants are much the same wherever they are cared for. To learn to understand, communicate and cope with the world, aided by the guidance of caring adults, offering plenty of stimulation and opportunities for play, along with lots of love and affection. Now, do you think we can crawl?